Hi students, in the previous exercise we import our traverse line work in survey database and now we will uh, do traverse analysis in civil 3D and we will do some adjustments to our traverse. Looking back at the tool space survey tab, expand the network we created earlier and expect the data we have one control point in the northwest you can zoom to here it's our control point in this network that was manually manually entered into the data collector there is one direction and there are four uh, steps here you can see these setups combined to form a closed polygon shape that define the traverse. Now notice that there is no traverse definition which we will create in this exercise to analyze our civil 3D traverse. Continue working with the previous exercise, you can follow these steps to analyze your traversing. Go to tool space, survey database, traverse which we created, it's our survey database and then we have networks, traverse practice and right click traverse is here and select new to open the traverse dialog box. Name the new travels. It's travels two. We can put type two as the initial station and press enter. The travels will now pick up the rest of the station and the travels and enter them in the uh, next box. Now. Okay, and right click Traverse to in the atom view tool space select Traverse analysis. In the Traverse analysis dialog box, now ensure that yes is selected to do Traverse analysis and do for angle balances also. Select least square method for horizontal and vertical also here we have total four method now we are going with least square method you can go with any other method also leave angle error uh, angle error as per it is but for the horizontal closure Colour should be 20,000 for this practice. Make sure the option update survey database set to yes. Now click OK. The analysis form and four text files are open. They show the result of the adjustment. These files are automatically saved in survey working folder under the same directory as survey database saved. You can note if you look back at your survey network all points are now control points because the analysis has upgraded all the points to control point status. Also either ellipses are displaying the drawing which you can see here. The size of error ellipses are controlled by a scale factor set in the survey network style. If you are seeing extra large ellipses, it's not an indication of an extra large error. So here we have uh, four files. Traverse two rock lawyer 
and reverse 2 reverse 2 LSI and reverse 2 so reverse 2 RA closure these are generated from the analysis the RA closure file shows that your new position appreciation is well within the tolerance uh, the vertical adjustment file describe this one it describe how the elevation have been affected by the procedure and traverse 1 uh, traverse 2 LSO is the output file displaying the adjustment this file it show the adjustment of the traverse analysis the file uh, the first part of the file uh, display the various observation along with their initial measurement standard deviation adjusted values and residual you can view other statistical data at the beginning of this file so traverse one lsi file this one it's the input file for displaying the station to station observation of the traverse analysis this file can be edited and used to rerun the analysis based on the revised options uh, observations so you learn that how can we uh, import our survey data uh, as a traverse and how can we analyze our traversing data in several 3d using any method like compass rule to square method so if you want to learn how we uh, manipulate survey data with other methods then stay tuned for the